Uh, welcome everyone to the National Wetland Awards for 2021 as we recognize the winner in the category Stewardship, Johan van Bullion. Uh, congratulations, Johan, and welcome. Johan, um, oh, thank maybe you. we could, just to start off, we could just get you to tell us a little bit about yourself. For example, where did you grow up and what education path did you follow to get yourself to this point? Okay. Um, so my name is Johan van Bouillon. We've got a company called Intaba. So I grew up in a Kobokkeveld close to Ceres. And I used to spend a lot of time just in nature. So that, that's kind of my education to some extent as well. Wonderful. And then after school, I, oh, there's a long story and a short version. So the shorter version would be that I didn't think you agree with the, the way that society works. And I wanted to live out in the mountains. Okay. And I thought, I thought the only way that I could do that um, and survive would be to learn the plants as good as I can possibly do it. Okay. And learn the medicinal properties, the ecology, and the rest of it all in one. And then I got to work as a casual laborer on a landscaping for a landscaping company called Vovula. I don't know if you guys know it. Yes, Very yes, grateful yeah. for Dion and all, all of his efforts. Yeah. And I started working there as a as a casual laborer. And then I had a I had an idea if I can learn three plants a day. I can yeah. do that's about 900, 900 a, a year. Then I can work my way up, and, and then and then get out of society and go live in the mountain. Um, so that's basically my education. That's absolutely fascinating. Yeah, I've never heard a story like that. So kudos to you. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, then, is there any way that that interlinks with aquatic systems and wetlands? How? How come you're here today and, and where does wetlands figure in, in your journey so far? Yeah, so I've always enjoyed fishing from, from very young. So I spend a lot of time fishing in the rivers and in dams um, up in the Kabokkeveld area. And when I was small, I used to go catch that. The rest of the things. Yeah. As, as time went on, I was doing a lot of environmental education with kids and stuff from school. And I went to the same river that we used to play in as kids. And now I've got kids of my own, about six years, six and five, and I won't let them play in the same river anymore. It's yeah. so badly polluted, and it's really, that really hit the nerve. So another thing that happened, part of this whole process of learning all the plants and the natural systems, I realized that gardening has got a very important role to play and uh, to fix, if we can fix up, um, gardens, it also creates habitat for all sorts of things. And part of that, I had to go, I had to do a job where we did a, a garden as close to natural as possible. And that included a pond, quite okay. a, a fairly big um, pond. And we started growing pombit for the pond and get all the right fish species and the frogs and all the, all the right filtration plants and the rest of it. And as time went on, I met with someone that wanted to do restoration on the river systems. And that one thing led to another. And they're like, hey, if you can do it on, in gardens, establish natural systems, why can't you do it on the rivers? And then the whole thing with the river started. And yeah, you know, and then we've grown thousands of pomic plants and all sorts of wetland stuff and established back into the river systems. Fantastic. Awesome. Um, Johan, you mentioned your company's name earlier on. Can you just tell us a little bit more about it? Um, what it is, what you do, what the company is, uh, is all about, etc. Okay, so the company is called Intaba Environmental Services. So we started a company, me and my wife, about eight, nine years ago. Um, the idea is to, to create a company that's practical, that we can actually be on the ground and do this stuff. So we often read in EIA reports, uh, we need to do a search and rescue, it always needs to be done. Um, restoration needs to be done after the dam was built or after construction was completed. But there was, there was hardly anyone doing these things. So there was a big gap um, because we, I knew the plant industry, I knew you can buy hybrids of all sorts of weird things, but you can't yeah. buy uh, specific stuff. So like, okay, let's, let's try to get into that and then actually do this stuff. So... Yeah, that's what the company is about. So you can check it out on the website. Uh, we've got some YouTube stuff 
busy coming along slowly. And yeah, I'm not, okay. I'm not really good, good in it, <laughs> but there's some, some good, the whole idea is that we need to inform people how to do it. Yeah. If you make a projection of uh, where's, uh, where's the river's going, if I look from my, my kid, when I was a kid, how it, where it's going and take a projection, we're in serious trouble. Um, yeah. And I'm sure all the people at this forum will know that. And and the amount of people causing the destruction and the amount of people trying to to do to get the system functioning again, there's a serious off balance. <laughs> yeah. So so that's kind of why we started this company. Fantastic. Um, so in your career that you've had to date, just asking you to see if you could highlight one aspect um, that is a real standout for you. Yeah, if it's from even when you were young you know, fixing up the rivers when you were a young kid to where you are today. Is, is there a highlight that stands out for you, uh, Johan? I think, I think there's a couple of highlights. The one highlight I think is a project that we did in Tilba for a private client. And it's been amazing to see what, what's possible. So, so this client, even though he was he's really difficult, he, he kind of gave us free scope and said, hey, just do what you need to do fix this thing up and it, it was a complete mess when we started yeah. and to, if i look back now i can see yo it, it's actually quite incredible i haven't seen anything similar to that and uh, so, so it is possible to fix systems to some extent we can't get it exactly the way it was but we can definitely make a good effort towards it so that that really stood out for me brilliant um Johan, obviously, um, you, you, you're sort of a, a pretty young person uh, growing up with your family and that. Uh, do you have any tips that you would give to new students that are coming out into the aquatic sciences field just to give them some sort of motivation or, or some sort of impetus to say that they're on the right track? Something that, that, that you can give to people out there to say, yeah, it's a good... Um, uh, sort of work environment to get into, um, persevere, etc. But but just from your side, any tips you could give would be appreciated. Yeah, so I think I think the, the, the only tip that I can that I can really give would be you see that the same there's a there's a force if you want to call it yeah. that works in nature. There's there's certain things that happen, certain rhythms that one needs to follow and. Yes. One of the biggest problems is humans. We we are the <laughs> we are the problems. And if you go into that, what is it in a human that's the problem? And I call it the sinful nature. We've got the tendency to really destroy, and that needs to be addressed. So I think firstly you need to start on your personal level and say, okay, what is it that's contradicting things inside of you, and that needs to be addressed. So you can't run away from your fears. You need to run into them and through them. Okay. That's the, that's the way to the way to get to them. Um, so I think that you have to start them. You have to start inside of yourself. And then once that started, it will develop and then go with it. There's an old saying that you, when you go look for a bow, if you want to go make a bow for, for hunting or whatever, find a stick that is shaped already in the right form. Yes. Um, so look, look at the form which you have been created as, what your pros and cons are, and then work with it. Don't try to... So I was always in trouble for curly hair at school. <laughs> and that I was permanently in trouble for it. And eventually, it, it, it took me a long time to, to kind of make peace with it and said, that's the way I am. So yeah. if that person is up his mystery the whole time, that's yeah. his problem. That's not my problem. I must just accept the way that I'm created and work with it. So that will be my, my five cents. <laughs> Fantastic. That's absolutely incredible. Johan, thank you so much for your time. Uh, it's much appreciated. And once again, congratulations on, on, on your award. Um, and all the best for the future. Uh, keep at it and, and all the very best. Wonderful. Thank you very much.